Hey there guys, what is going on? Today we are taking another look at one of the best weapons in modern warfare. We are doing a video on the best and fastest killing M13 class setup here. Basically, the M13 is always a weapon that loads of people are drawn to and I've had a couple of you asking for an M13 class setup. So I felt like we would oblige here today. Again, this is the fastest killing M13 class setup in the game. It basically does everything. You can fight at close with the high fire rate. You can hide at long range because of that extended barrel. We do have a decent amount of damage range here. There's a lot of good things to like about the M13. It's severely underrated in this game. But just before we do get into talking about it here, let's try and get this video to 28 likes. You guys have been absolutely fantastic recently. I really appreciate all the support on yesterday's video in particular because it was a little bit different. Going in depth into some of the statistics in the attachments in Modern Warfare is always a good time for me. So thank you very much for watching that one. If you haven't already done so, make sure you do go hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any more of the upcoming videos. And let's just jump straight into our M13 class setup here because it's very, very powerful. Definitely one of the more underrated weapons in the game for sure. So the M13 typically has one of the higher fire rates in the assault rifle class and the game for that matter. Basically, it's just a weapon that does absolutely sand bullets. Like you get those sights up on target, you just send those bullets to people and they'll eventually fall. The damage per bullet isn't super high. Like typically it's about four to five shots to kill. But when you do have a super high fire rate, that's not too much of an issue, especially at those longer ranges where it's still only a five to six shot kill which at that fire rate is very, very easy. And with the recoil control that we do get is very, very easy to hit those shots. But we'll start off with our sidearm perks and grenade choices here, starting with the Akimbo X16, a very powerful option in the game at the moment for those close range fights. If somebody does get too close, you just whip out your Akimbo pistols with the monolithic suppressor, the Syngard Arms Advantage Barrel, the five milliwatt laser, the lightweight trigger, and the Akimbo perk. And basically you just blast them away. Anybody gets too close, you whip these out and spray them down. Very, very powerful. They have very fast fire rate, decent magazine size, and good close range damage. In terms of our perks here, we're looking at a very standard setup of EOD, Ghost, and Tracker. EOD for that explosive resistance. You can, of course, use Quick Fix for this as well as a decent slot as well. Ghost in the second slot to stay off of those UAVs and Tracker to be able to see those enemy footprints. If you are sort of hunting around, doing big flanks and stuff like that, and somebody spawns and they start running, you'll be able to see where they go and get a pretty easy kill on them. In the lethal slot, we do want the C4 just because it's a very, very powerful and effective tool in this game. Great for killing people, checking over walls and around corners, very, very effective. But it also acts as a piece of utility in which it does create a little bit of a smoke cloud so you can sort of move around very, very easily. And lastly, the tactical is the stim shot. Basically, we should just call this the stim shot slot. There's nothing else you want to use here apart from like a stun or a flash. And if you do that, I guess we can't be friends. So as I said, M13, very, very powerful weapon in this game, yet severely underrated. That high fire rate does really, really carry it here. Decent recoil control, really, really easy to hit those shots at pretty much all ranges. So starting us off with our attachments here, we are extending our damage range with the monolithic suppressor. As I said, sound suppression, damage range, and as of yesterday's video, about a 10 to 15% increase to our bullet velocity, which is a little bit weird. Like you would think that would get included in these statistics here, but being able to fight at slightly longer ranges is very, very powerful careful here. In the barrel slot, we are taking the Tempest Marksman barrel for that damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. This is the attachment that really does help us get those shots on target with this particular barrel. We can be very, very accurate with this. It doesn't slow down our aim down sight speed too much with the rest of our attachments, and it really just lets us hit our shots. It's a really, really nice attachment here, and it's so nice that we actually have foregone a underbarrel here. Normally, with most assault rifles, we look include a Merc or a Commander foregrip, but with this particular recoil control that we do get from this, it's not too much of an issue. Moving to the stock slot here, we do have the FSS close quarter stock for that extra aim down sight speed. I think this is about a 70 millisecond increase, which is very, very powerful. And it does combine very well with the stipple to grip tape, of course, for that aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. I've seen it before people using the rubberized grip tape, which is increasing our recoil control, but it's only about a 4% increase. So most of the time, this really is not worth it. And the stipple grip tape is always better here. And lastly, we do want that 50 round mags there. We're, we're skipping over the 0.300 blackout 30 round mags here. I don't think they really do too much for us. And the 60 round mags are a little bit cumbersome in terms of weight and aim down sight speed. So 50 rounds is a good combination of getting more ammo to fire, especially when we do have that high fire rate, as I've mentioned a couple of times already, giving us 50 bullets to fire while only reducing our aim down sight speed and movement speed is slightly. It's not too big of a noticeable difference. And with our other aim down sight speed attachments, we can really make up for this. So this is the class setup that we are going for on this particular M13 day. Very, very powerful weapon in my opinion. One of those weapons that just shreds people if you get those shots on target. If you're not a massive fan of the iron sights on this particular weapon, you could probably drop off like the 50 round mags or the FSS close quarter stock and throw on like a Solazero, like 
whatever your preferred optic is really geo mini reflex cronin lp 945 viper reflex this is really up to you here anyway we are going to jump into some gameplay here and we will tear it up i am 100 sure of this class setup is one of the best class setups for the m13 in the game it's very very powerful here and i will show it off in just a second Alrighty, so the M13 is always going to be one of those weapons that loads of people are interested in in this game. Mostly because of the high fire rate. Like, this does have a very high fire rate in terms of the assault rifle class. It's basically just really, really common to see high fire rate weapons just be performing really, really nicely. Like, it's just one of those things that people like. I'm not a huge fan of the iron sights on the M13. It's always something that I thought could use a little bit of love. Like, they're a bit... They're a bit problematic, I'm not going to lie, like they aren't the best. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get out of that situation alive and I was right. But it's a weapon that doesn't have too much recoil if you do kit it out the way we have done here. Like you can shoot pretty much across the map and be pretty confident that your bullets are going to land in the right spot. Which is pretty much all we can ask for really, like that's all we're after. We just want our bullets to go where we aim, like... Pretty simple concept, but a lot of the guns in this game sometimes they just they don't do that. So I just love the fire rate on this gun. Always drawn to guns with super high fire rates, mostly just because they're really really fun to play with. It's gonna be a guy sitting back there. Where is he? There he is. Nice little headshot on that guy there. Shouldn't be too too long before it's disabled. Put that headquarters in a wheelchair, bro. Ah, uh, get out of here. Really? Are they... Still coming for the point? Like... They don't seem to be. And they're just... Bros. What... What are we up to here, like... Oh my god. I am terrible at this game. There is one going up there. But I think for the most part, we're in a fairly decent position right now. We're, no near, near, we're nowhere near the headquarters. It's hard to speak this morning. We are nowhere near the headquarters, but we can pick people off pretty easily if they... Nice. Oh, see, a little long shot there. A little long shot. This barrel does make it very, very easy to hit those long-range shots. Like, I'm talking very good accuracy and decent damage at range. I don't think I really want to leave this spot. Like, it's pretty... I'm scared. Okay. Sometimes it pays to be aggressive on those kind of situations. See if we can get the VTOL in there to decent amount of kills. Nah, I'll leave him. I did tag a man there. Can I... No. That's fine. Yes. The long shots with this particular weapon are really, really easy. It's one of those weapons that you shouldn't find too difficult to get gold, especially in the long shot category. Like, that shouldn't be too difficult. We are quite possibly going to go on an enormous flank here. Do you want to actually call our VTOL over here to make a little bit of noise so we can actually sneak up on this dude? Which he's doing currently. Should be okay. Yeah, I don't think he heard us there because of the, because of the VTOL. It could take a decent amount of time here, line up maybe a shot. Ooh. A couple of you guys have been wondering how I throw the, the C4 so far. Basically, that's based on my FOV, so it looks like it's way further. So it looks like I throw it like literally 600 meters, but it's really just the same as it would be normally. So yeah, it's the same throw normally, it just looks a bit fish-eyed because of the old because of the old FOV. Anyway guys, I do actually really like this M13 class, I think it's a pretty good one. We're going to have our final thoughts on this in just a second. Alrighty, so what do we think of our M13 class setup here? Well, it's one of those weapons that's always going to be super underrated, but there's going to be the team out there who always love using it because of its high fire rate, its little recoil, and its okay damage at range. Like, it's pretty decent over long distances, especially with the low recoil. It's not my favorite weapon in the game, but I can appreciate why people use it. I really do like high fire rates in this game, and it does fit that bill, as it does have quite a high fire rate. Very, very enjoyable weapon to use. 
As for our class setup here, I think we've got a good combination of attachments. Like we've got everything we could really use. Like we don't really need an under barrel, which is pretty efficient. I like the use of the monolithic suppressor and the larger barrel with a couple of aim down sight speed attachments. Makes it very, very easy to hit our shots. Thank you very much for watching this one. I do appreciate it, of course. Make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe if you are new around here, of course. I do very much appreciate it, as I said. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!